Oh, we got some craziness going on today! Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Simple Sober Life. I am Joshua, and I help others make simple changes to create a life of awesome. So, the boss went on a rampage, and I'm leaving work early today. May have gotten fired. Just kidding. No, it's just a gas leak. <laughs> it's crazy. So, um... All of a sudden, there's a big bustle in the warehouse and people are kind of scurrying around and whatever. And I'm just listening to um, an audio book and, you know, doing my own thing. And all of a sudden, one of the guys is like, come on, we got to get out of here. I'm like, what the hell is going on? And I see all these people scurrying about and, and heading for the door. I'm like, what is going on here? And they're like, there's a gas leak. We got to go. And of course, you know, there's a lot of welders in the in the shop. And so, you know, sparks are flying and everything. And we have a gas leak going on. So, um, you know, I gather my cup and we all head out to the parking lot and we're all gathered and everything. Who brought the grill? We're there for about 20 minutes before the big boss comes in and, and tells us, you know, the fire department, which showed up, of course, um, can't let us back in the building. And so we can either take paid time off for the rest of the day or just leave. Um, so I'm just leaving. So what's a boy to do for a couple of free hours? <laughs> well, I do have a haircut scheduled later for today. I called him and tried to uh, see if I could get in earlier. But I think I'm going to use this time appropriately and get some school work done. <laughs> um, and I might slip in a little shopping. I've, I've been wanting um, a new pair of tennis shoes for a bit now. Um, mine are getting a little dingy, so why not, right? Anyway, my friends, I will check in in a bit. I hope you're having a fantastic day and see you soon. All right, we got our hair cut and I am feeling stylish. Look at this, yeah, sleek. And I didn't have to wear a face mask, which was better than my last experience down in Savannah. So since I have a little bit of time, I think I'm gonna check out some shoes. Um, I hate wearing shoes, it's the weirdest thing. I hate wearing shoes, but one of my goals in life is to have a different pair of shoes for every day of the year. I know it's weird, it's weird. I would go barefoot all the time if I could, but I love actually just having shoes. It's weird. Anyway, let's see what we got around Spartanburg. Well, unfortunately, the shoe shopping didn't go as planned. I went to three different stores and kind of moseyed around, but really couldn't find anything that I liked. And I like bright colors. I like flashy shoes that people can see from like three miles away. And all that they really had were like dark gray or brown or black. They might <clears throat> have like a splash of color, but nothing really that popped out at me. So unfortunately that was not successful, but that's okay. Then I spent a couple of hours bouncing from different Walmarts. I went to one of the Walmarts in Spartanburg, and I hate this Walmart. Well, I'm not a big fan of Walmart, period. But this one in particular, everything is out of order. Everything is just so mixed up of what they have. They are out of everything. Anything that I want. I went <clears throat> and I specifically went to Walmart to get some. Uh, different, uh, uh, an assortment of almonds and peanuts and things like that. They didn't have any of the flavors I wanted. They didn't have anything. So then I went to another Walmart over in Boiling Springs and I got, I wasn't completely satisfied, but I, I'm able to make shift from what I got. <clears throat> and I spent so long going from shoe stores to different Walmarts and whatnot that it's already halfway through the afternoon. It's almost four o'clock now. And I'm like, forget it. I'm just gonna go home. I didn't do any of the grocery shopping I wanted to do. 
whatever. I'm not at work, so that's okay. But I thought that I would come home and before I jump on the computer and start um, uh, doing some schoolwork, because my original plan did not in include schoolwork tonight. Um, I was gonna get off work at 4.30 and then run over to get my hair cut at 5.30 and then do grocery shopping afterwards. So um, now that I have this time opened up, I thought that I would break out my acrylic paints and do some more pour painting. Um, I'm meeting up with Ryan next week and I want to give him a um, an original piece of artwork. Um, we purchased the house together in Florida a couple of years ago and you know, I. I was the one in the relationship who actually had, you know, a sense of color, a sense of how things go together and things like that. And so I'm willing to bet that nothing has been added to that house since I left. So I wanted to give him an original piece that he could hang up. Hopefully it turns out okay. But if not, I got, Walmart didn't have any canvases, none at all. Um, but I was able to go over to Michael's and they actually had uh, a, a set of seven of these, I think it's 11 by 18 um, canvases. Now they're not the best canvases and you can tell by the feel of them, but um, they were all, I mean, I'm not gonna drop 40 bucks on my ex, come on now. But, <laughs> um, but uh, they'll work and what, oh, these uh, set of seven was only 11 bucks, so you know, It'll be, it'll turn out how it turns out. We'll, we'll just find out. And that's some of the fun of pour painting. You really have absolutely no idea what's going to come out. Kind of like life. Isn't that funny? Anyway, my friends, if you want to see some pour painting, stay tuned. Well, my friends, <laughs> I think I created something that looks more like an inkblot test than a painting. And I really hate that it messed up on the sides over here. So I think I'm gonna do that one again. I'm gonna give that one another go. I'm kind of running out of white paint, so I am going to um, uh, kind of mix white and black for the background as a primer and see how that works. All right, my friends, I think that one turned out much better. I like how the orange kind of seeped in over here. Some of the blues and cool colors over here. It turned out pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of white in it, but I'm okay with that. Cool.